fucking top of the <laughs> building. McFolium. McF- yeah, McFolium. Not hook him to a, a chain and have him jump off the scaffolding. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so they do do that in WWE. Yeah, they do. Hmm. Is now that you just said that, I wonder. We're going to Owen Hot him. If Sting comes back, do they let him come down from the rafters? No, they won't do that anymore. You don't think so? Even if he dresses up as Crow Sting? I think or... they did. They, and I don't think he would allow that either. Why not? I think he might go up to the rafters, but I don't think he'll come down. But he always did. Yeah, well, that was... That was after our own heart, too. We should probably start seeing something. If he is actually going to wrestle at WrestleMania, I think we'll probably start seeing things after Thanksgiving. I don't even know if he has a deal. I think he does. Does he now? He has a he has a um, Hall of Famer deal. A Legends deal? Legends deal, that's what I meant. But I don't know what that entails. If it entails one match. It's, I, it I, doesn't I, have to entail any matches, technically. I think if they, just, if they want to appear, they can. I think he wants one match. Yeah. At least one match. I know he wants Taker. And I think that he wants, um, in order to get into the Hall of Fame, he needs that one match. Well, I mean, he's going to go in the Hall of Fame anyways, but... Yeah, I don't think... Because teenage Hall of Fame doesn't count. And actually, um, I just read recently Warner Brothers is trying to buy out WWE's entire library. Why is that? I don't know. I don't think they're going to sell their library. I don't care how much Vince is hurting. He's not going to sell the yeah, library. There's no way. Because he was trying. He wanted to buy TNA's library. I don't think. He wants to save it. unless I think unless he's going under and they're going to close, they're not selling the library. Can you imagine if WWE goes under? Actually, I was what reading gonna, something. What, what are we going to talk about? <laughs> we won't. Jeff Jarrett's Global Wrestling. That's what's next. Until that goes under. Because that's what everybody's going to be going towards. I don't know. I do not know, my sir. That would be effed. That would. What, what would be our world be like without wrestling? Big time wrestling. We'd have to talk. We'd have to like follow big time wrestling. Yeah, well, it's going to be all these fucking smaller organizations. We'd have to, though. You know. Not much we can really do see, about Big Time it. Wrestling hasn't been down here in a while. No, there was something about uh, Ric Flair. Something, I don't know, but he's not going to be in it, I don't think. Coming to the town? I don't think so. I'll have to go on the website and look. They're going to steal another one of their signs. Yeah. Their annual sign stealing. Yeah, I got one from the past twi- two, twice times. Yeah. Twice. The twice times they've been here, I've got a sign. Anybody want a Big Time Wrestling sign? I got one. <laughs> yep, we'll sell it. Put it on the eBay store. I should. And then we'll get arrested. They'll be like, now we have the proof. Ah, Christ, they stick them everywhere. I know. Those signs are like all over town. They're practically just asking to be stolen. Oh, yeah. It's like, there's one there, there's one there, there's one there. Okay, this one's mine. It's clean. <laughs> this one's Park C's. <laughs> I got the boy actually sitting out in my uh, on my office area. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna, I'm gonna someday I'll hang them up. One day. One day I will hang them up. We should. Yeah. Or we should just sell them. Glue them to the front of my house. We should get them signed at an event. Hi, we stole this sign off the side of the road, so less people knew about you coming, but we knew. Hey, uh, I don't know if I told you this or not, but. Uh, in November with the Connecticut Comic Con. Yep. Um, not Animal Hawk. I think it's Hawk. Or it's Animal. Animal. It Hawk. Laronitis. Right? Laronitis is dead. No, he isn't. Yeah, he is. I don't think so. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Doesn't his son play football? Yeah. And his brother is Big Johnny. Oh, that's right. Well, the other one, Animal Hawk, whatever the one Animal. is, is going to be Animal's alive. He's, he's signed to be down there. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Only if Dross is down there with him. Or Heidenreich. Um, that was my favorite. the kid with the one leg? The kid that Brock Lesnar pushed down the steps? Yeah. I don't know. I forget his name. B would know. I forgot what his name is. He's going to be there, too. Or can I push him down the steps like Brock Lesnar? It's actually Mick Foley, JBL, um, 
Dam is going to be there. <laughs> Ron Simmons. Ron Simmons. And a bunch of other people. Booker T, his wife. Oh. Is he going to dress up as King Booker? See, I'm torn from going to that one or going to the... The Hulk Hogan one. The Hulk Hogan one. I think I really want to go to the Hulk Hogan one. Really? Over, that, see, that... I would trade all those guys for Hulk Hogan, personally. Whose autograph would be worth more? What do you mean? Well, I, I was going to go buy a magazine that had Hulk Hogan and Jimmy Hatter on the front of it. An old uh, old wrestling magazine. And I was going to have them both autograph it because they're both going to be there. See, Jimmy Hart does expos like that all the time, though. Yeah. His signature. Well, he can- always goes to the... the um, that one. Yeah, but Hulk Hogan... Yeah, Hulk Hogan's probably signatures out there everywhere. But it's worth a shit ton, especially if he croaks the shit ton. Shoot. I don't even know what you just said. I, you know, I'm trying to retard. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, I'm starting to collect all my Jake the Snake stuff. Yep. Just in case he dies still. Yeah, I, I told you I got like a Jake the Snake autograph card. And yep. In Virgil, just in case he dies. Yeah. Virgil's a good, cool dude. He's going to die of loneliness. He'll probably be there. <laughs> he'll, he'll stop talk you and talk to you about If you wear that Phillies shirt, he'll talk to you. He'll stop talking to you about football. That's what I'm all about. Yeah. I could talk to him about wrestling. Have like, you decided whether or not you're going yet? I don't think I can get the time off, honestly. It's two months away. I know. My boss is being mean two about it. Two months away. But I'm also... It's because I'm using the rest of my paid time off in a couple of weeks. No. I can't believe you're missing the opportunity to go meet your idol who rubbed his daughter's ass. Who? Hulk Hogan? Hulk Hogan. And when did he rub his daughter's ass? Putting lotion on her, remember? Oh, and... Yeah. Hogan knows best. Hogan knows best. He's like, oh, yeah, brother. Oh, I mean, my daughter's tushy. It's just like mine, brother. I should pull up a picture online of, of him of rubbing his daughter's ass. ass and have a hug. Can you sign that? I love... Are sign you it. kidding, brother? Sign it. The Hulkster loves incest, brother. To, Den- uh, to Dennis. You can call me Denard. <laughs> All my friends call me Denard. <laughs> call me Denier. <laughs> well, actually, oh, the great. zombie's better. Yeah. <laughs> can you can you make this out to the zombie? <laughs> I gotta see if I could get him to do a. Hey, brother! You listening to the wrestling burn? Why do we need Hulk Hogan to do it when I can do it every week? <laughs> <laughs> so let me tell you something, bro. Because you don't do it like him. What I do it? I gotta get Jimmy Hart to yell it through a microphone. Well, let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> that's that is that's him, but <laughs> and he's dead. Oh, Paul Bear. Yes, that sounded, yes, that yes. sounded like Paul Bear. My Undertaker. Oh, God. I don't know. It was a. Did you watch TNA at least this week? No. Damn it. I'm sorry. I went to bed early all week. I watched TakeOver. You should have watched it. You would have appreciated the wrestling. The uh, scene car probably won't be on Raw for a I while. He's did an NXT. See the you saw match the guys on Raw though, on right? Raw, the tech. and that was probably the best match of the fucking night. Teddy, is it just me or is Teddy Hart gotten like really good in the ring? Yeah. Did you like that they're making a joke out of how he always says "fact" now? Put it right over his dick on his trunks. Teddy Hart. Yeah. No, I was looking. Oh, at not that. Teddy Hart. Tyson Kidd, whatever his name is. No, didn't notice that. He just said that because he's married to Natalia, and that's the Hart family. Yeah. Yeah. The hearts. Actually, that's the chant they always do in NXT, Adam. It's just Natty's husband. Yeah. That's nice. Um, let's see. What else? So, yeah, the the Fatal 4 is a really good match. Yeah, I don't think people knew uh, how good and some of the that fucking double twist backflip off the top rope. How sweet that is? Yeah. I don't really like Adrian Neville, but I love his finish. His finish is nasty. He's like a fucking bouncing beat. Yeah. The way he bounces around the ring. He's going to take Daniel Bryan's spot, I think, as little guy. Yeah, if Daniel Bryan doesn't come back. He's going to... They're talking about him coming back now for Survivor Series. Surprise, Hendrick. Uh, as in one of the uh, tag matches, yeah, he'll be like the last member. Ooh, uh, is this for you? Uh, I think we're getting arrested. Have you been clocking people in at the studio again? Uh, yep. Yeah. 
Where's it going? Did it go up the street? I don't know. What the fuck? I see where it went. Damn. Your heart's still good? Oh, yep, yeah, I'm good. No, I'm not dead yet. Well, shit. Got arrested for clocking people in early. <laughs> I guess I can't do that no more. <laughs> hey, don't, don't forget, people, a piece of advice. Never clock your buddy in early. <laughs> Even if he says, I'll be there in two minutes. Because, you know what? <laughs> He'll be there. He'll be there three hours, hours later. <laughs> then you get fucked for it. Yes. I said it. Fucked for it. <laughs> oh shit. Here comes another one. Look at it. We're just... This is entertainment outside the studio. That looks like an ambulance. Yep. It's got sirens on. You're just, you're just, it's a stretcher match going on over there. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of vehicles running down that way. Oh good. Can we confirm, is it a stretcher match? Uh, no, I can't see it from this angle. Oh, um, Flair's daughter. Flair's daughter? Botching a moonsault. Did she? Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna go blow my brains out now. <laughs> um, yeah, she tried to get her, uh, to... For the finish of her of her women's title match, she lose? Go? No, she won. She's gonna lose soon though, because they're gonna call her up. Does she look haggard? Yeah, she does. She looks haggard as shit. Oh uh, yeah, for someone that's in her twenties, she is in her twenties, right? Like we, I think she's in her twenties, but like she looks nine... like she's been in her forties, and she's been beat with dick in the face. For, looks like Papa for quite a long time. Yeah, she looks like Rick Papa. Rick daughter. That's how they like pretty much. And have you heard her music? Mm. It's like a techno version of his music. Really? Yeah, it's awful. That's dumb. I'd like to see the girl from Boston get moved up. She looks like she's pretty good. Sasha. Yeah. Yeah, she's a uh, she's a good talent. Um, yeah, the way it make they make it look, that girl Bailey that gives all the hugs, she's gonna be the next champ. She's just really odd. She's odd, but she's good in the ring. Yeah, I noticed that. And she's got a nice butt. Bubble butt. And she does. Bailey the bubble butt. That's right. I'd like to hug it. Is she British or is she normal? She's normal. I don't get why that's not normal to be British, but... I don't know. Yes, but she's American. That's what I meant. I know what you meant. Um, The Ascension should be coming up pretty soon. So they, they have to drop the title they to already, somebody. They just did. Oh, they did drop the title? Yeah. Who? Um, yeah, who was the surprise tag team they were supposed to fight? They fought Sin Cara and Kalisto. Another Mexican guy. How they did were... they drop the belt? They destroyed fucking everybody. Um, yeah. It was actually a really good match. Sin Cara didn't botch too much, well, Hunico didn't. Well, it's funny, but yeah, they destroyed everybody, and you take one match to just gonna come in and get beat by. A bunch but then of they Mexicans. came back out. They came back out, and uh, when they were introducing Kenta, and they beat the shit out of Kenta at first, and then Kenta beat them up, and then the WWE trolled all the internet wrestling fans and changed Kenta's name. Oh, Kenta's that fucking Hideo. the new Chinese guy, right? Yeah, the Japanese guy. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. They're all the same to me. Hideo Itami or whatever. That's his new name in the ring. They changed it. He better be something special because... <laughs> oh, um, they also have a guy that reminds everyone of Bam Bam Bigelow. Really? The bull whatever guy. Uh, I saw him wrestle. He's actually pretty good. Yeah. Um, he beat up your boy Mojo Raleigh, the dude that... The big ex-football player guy. Really? Huh. Beat him in like three minutes. Yeah, that Bam Bam Bigelow guy, I've seen him wrestle before, he's actually pretty good. <laughs> that's that's what everybody was calling him, he did a bunch of head butt, flying headbutts off the top rope too. They'll probably pull him up and make him fucking shave his head and get a tattoo on his head. A head tattoo. Call him, bill him as Bam Bam's son or something. Bam Bam Bigelow's Bam Bam. Baby Bam Bam. <laughs> Bomb Bomb oh, Bigelow. Bugaboo Ball. Bugaboo Creek Bigelow. Butthead Bigelow. I don't know if they would bill him as Bam Bam Bigelow's son. He's a, like a Bam Bam Bigelow wannabe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. Uh